Hey traders, Jonathan here at forexonline.com. I've put the video on because I have been entered into a daily setup on the US dollar Canadian. Uh, this setup has been covered in the members only forum and also on the charts in focus on the public section. Uh, the uh, trade I'm referring to is this pin bar reversal. Okay, so this bearish pin bar. There's a few good reasons why this, this is a nice trade to take, and I'm going to cover these in this video quickly. Then I'll turn the video off and I'll come back and recap just to show you guys how price has played out and how I've managed this trade effectively. Okay, so the first thing we notice if we're looking from left to right of the screen, price overall is down. Okay, so the recent momentum is down. Now, quite often I'll I'll see other people's trades and they're looking to what the weekly and monthly chart is or what the chart is uh, you know, extremely zoomed out. And to me, that doesn't matter. I'm looking to, on this daily chart, I'm looking to trade swings. So swings of anywhere from four to 10 bars, okay? So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter with the chart zoomed out like this that we've had these up moves and now it's choppy. All I'm looking at is the recent, I'm trying to get in with the recent swings and the recent swings have been, most recent momentum has been down. So I'm looking for pullbacks to trade within this. Okay, if that doesn't make sense, send an email or make a comment and I'll try and explain to you a little clearer. So the first thing is left to right, the trend is down. The second important point is the area that we're trading this pin bar reversal from. You'll notice I have this pre-marked horizontal line and you'll notice all these candle highs that are rejecting this area. We go through and another pin bar reversal rejecting this area and once again, just here, price has rejected this level. So this level is, it's a, a clear and very important level. It's held on uh, previous attempts and now price has gone up and rejected this area for this pin bar. So we can safely say that this level so far has held and the price action is clear off a clear, uh, a, key, a key area to trade from. The next thing I want to point out is the big round number in this area that the pin bar is rejecting. The big round number is a very big round number and it's exactly 1.0. So 1.00 right there. You'll notice this pin bar has closed. It went up, it closed below this level and it's once again showing clear rejection of this big round number. Okay, right here, this big round number price closed beneath it. Now that's important. You'll notice on these other attempts, price through here is, couldn't close above it, price through here could not close above the big round number, price once again went up, tested and broke through. So this this also, this psychological big round number is very important and key. So the way I'm going to be looking to play this is I have already been entered, I had my order set at the break, okay, so I talk about this in previous videos, I have the order set to break or sell short when price goes lower. Now price has been lower at the start of today's session and did enter me in the trade. Price has since retraced. I'm expecting price to find a quick halt or uh, be reversed at this level. You'll see the previous bar high or candle high here. I'm expecting that to act as a resistance area. So price will go up, retest, and bounce off this area and fall lower. You'll notice I have the second horizontal line through here. This is looking for a logical target through this area to take some profit off the table. I'm not looking for anything to break. I'm trading within levels. I'm trading a logical price action setup, and I'm trading within the levels that the market has produced. So I'm looking for price to sell off, hit this level, I'll take some profits and I'll most likely move out of this trade with a handy profit. I'm going to leave this first part of the video there. I'll come back in three or four days when I've taken profit and I'll show you guys how I managed to trade. I'll talk to you in the next video. Hey traders, Jonathan back again with the second part of this video. The pin bar reversal that we talked about the first part of this video has sent prices lower. Price was re did retrace uh, a mile away before collapsing lower through the US and UK sessions. I've been taken out of two thirds of my position now. I've moved the remaining one third of my position to break even and I'm looking for a final target of these lows 
through here. So a pretty simple trade. I want to recap why this is a nice trade. First of all, we had the overall downtrend. As I, you'll see in a lot of these videos, I like to play with the trend. So I look for pullbacks and I try to get short with the downtrend or with an uptrend, I look for pullbacks, price action to get long with the trend. You'll often hear me say, uh, try to trade with the obvious trend in your favor. Now, don't we don't need indicators to pick the trend. It's just as simple as looking left or right of your chart, is there an obvious trend? Now, most of the time, the markets are ranging, okay? And that's another kettle of fish altogether. But when you can, try and trade with the overall trend in your favor. The other two points where we had this very obvious resistance that was being held, all these candle highs, was showing us that there was a... a uh, a very prominent resistance area through here. That's where my horizontal line is marked. The third point of, uh, point of interest was the very big round number of 1.000, which was through here, and the Pimba had actually closed lower and rejected this area. So I've simply entered the break. Price has fallen away. I've taken profit, moved to break even. So I've... I've um, I've put some money away while the market has made available to me. I've managed my risk and I'm looking for a, a nice, uh, decent risk reward trade. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you want to learn anything more about price action at all, jump on over to forexschoolonline.com. We have plenty of free educational price action videos and articles and plenty of information on how you can get started in price action trading. We also host a community over there that runs a price action course with the members only forum. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon.